Hello once again and welcome to Akusia's vlog. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. Today we are going to prepare abelewos. Abelewos is a tasty ice cream in Ghana. I have about 5 recipes but then I will be showing you one today and as time goes on I will show you the others. So come with me as I take you to my kitchen. Let's begin preparing our abelewos. First of all, I will add my flour into my mixing bowl. And then I will add a little bit of water to mix the two together. Stir thoroughly to avoid any lumps that may form in your flour. Once it's thoroughly mixed, I will transfer it into my saucepan. I'll go ahead and light my fire and bring this to a boil. So I'll continue stirring till it forms a paste. So we've been stirring this for about five minutes now. We do not want any lump in this mixture. So don't stop stirring. Continue stirring till everything is well mixed like this. So after the five minutes, I will add in my blue band margarine. If you want a rich abelie was always use blue band for flavor it also adds some richness to your abelie walls and it makes you stand out from the rest this business is very lucrative so whoever wants a side business can try using abelie walls as one and then trust me you would never regret doing this business because at a point in time it brought food to our table in our family and I would never look down on this you know that your flour is well cooked when it changes from the creamy or the white color it had to a creamy color like this one so I'll go ahead and turn off my fryer and then transfer it into another bowl. If you do it and it becomes lumpy, don't throw it away because there are so many tricks with recipes. And the more you work with it, the more you get these tricks. So you only have to put it in the blender when it's cooled and then you blend it to loosen all the lumps in the flour. So after, I will continue stirring for about three, to five minutes to air out the heat before going on to the next stage so in another bowl i will add my condensed milk And then add about a tablespoon full of my vanilla essence into it. You can use any essence of your choice as well. And then you mix the two together. So I'll add my evaporated milk and my milk powder into another bowl. I'll go ahead and mix the two together till I get a uniform mixture without any lumps. You can add a little bit of sugar if you want, but if you don't, kindly ignore it because the condensed milk contains sugar already. So once the milk powder and 
then the evaporated milk is well mixed i'll go ahead and transfer it into my condensed milk with my vanilla essence all right so now it is well mixed so i'll go ahead and add in my cooked flour into the mixture remember to make the flour well cooked if it doesn't you get the raw flour smell in your abelewos and nobody would want to patronize you when your abelewos is that way when you are done you stir everything together again so once i'm done mixing everything together i'll just transfer a little into these bowls to add some color to it so this is the color red i'll add about a teaspoon to it you know kids love color so if you are selling you can try and bring color to your other levels and this is edible color so there isn't any harm using this one I'll go ahead and then transfer them into my containers. I don't have the traditional below was container, so I will be using this today and maybe some other time when I get it, I'll just do it. You can use Sokodia if you have it, but I don't have Sokodia at the moment, so I would have to improvise. And this also works perfectly as well. So I'll add my yellow color to this one. So um, I have these colorful colors here and with this one I tried creating a rainbow so what I did was that I mixed all the colors I had and then stirred it gently to get this color on top of my abelables. So this will stay in the freezer overnight and then we will see how it goes. Now our ice cream is ready after being in the fridge overnight. This is the biggest, you can eat it with bread. And this is, now our ice cream is ready after being in the fridge overnight. So um, let me take one out. All right. The rainbow color. This is how it looks like.